sliding off and the trick is you pull it and then you pull like this from the other side there's an important thing other you know you gotta you gotta put this strap you gotta put this strap over otherwise you're gonna you know you're gonna go flying if you lean back she's smaller so what you want to do for smaller minis, you want to wrap it around however many times you need. Mika! Quit. And then you want to pull it. Now, this is a little loose, but, um, but it works. See, now when you lift it up, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, next is this. You want to take this end, you want to put it, you see this loop right here? Mo almost all carts should have this loop. Um, if you have a different cart, like if you're showing, then, well, you already know how to put on a harness uh, and a cart, so you shouldn't need to know that information. <laughs> um, but basically, you just pull it forward, and I like to pull it to where the buckle is right here, and then I wrap it around. And this kind of, this prevents, because if you did it, if you did it just like this, it only comes to about here, and you have all this, you know, running around, flapping everywhere. So to prevent that, you kind of you put the buckle here, and then you wrap it around a few times. Adjust it a little, and then. And nice and tight. What you do is to repeat it on the other side. You want to, and you still, you want to have a little bit of space so that they're not squeezed in by both of these right here. And you want to have it a little bit of tight so that when you are trotting, the harness, uh, the cart, it kind of it goes with them instead of if you have it loose then it's going to be you know jarring on their back right here and it's going to be hurt so you kind of want this a little bit tight so the next step next step is the bridle uh, and then you're ready to go karting Yeah, we're all sweaty. Yeah, we're all sweaty. 